lads, lassies, should you invest in major souvenir packages? I'll give you my thoughts after the intro. The new souvenir packages are redeemable until the 20th of December. After that, you will only be able to buy them from the market. In my opinion, prices should go up for all of the packages, however, some of them might have a bigger price increase than others. So what packages have a good potential? The obvious answer would be new collection packages, such as Dust2, Mirage, Vertigo and Ancient. But let's go a little bit deeper. I personally would look for a packages with the good team stickers in them. You can start looking into the teams that made it to the quarterfinals, semifinals and finals. Then choose packages with desirable collections. So from quarterfinals I would choose Navi vs Vitality on Dust2, NIP vs G2 on Mirage and Heroic vs Virtus Pro on Ancient. There is one cool thing that could potentially impact the price of this souvenir package. If you get Souvenir Panthera Onka, the Virtus Pro sticker could be placed on top of the Panthera's head and that's quite a nice sticker combo. So maybe someone would overpay for that skin in the future, thus potentially increasing the price of this package or other ancient packages from Virtus Pro matches. From semi-finals, Navi vs Gambit on Mirage and from finals, Navi vs G2 on both Nuke and Ancient. Since Vertigo was not played in the playoffs, Let's go back to the group stage. You can probably pick any of the Vertigo packages from there and there wouldn't be a difference. But I would go with Gambit vs Virtus Pro, Furia vs Entropic or Vitality vs Astralis. So those would be my priority picks but I would also get a few packages from Nuke, Inferno and Overpass collections with better teams in them. Also I would grab a few packages with Tylu stickers from new collections. Vertigo and Mirage because this is the only team from China and maybe someone specifically would like to open these packages in the future. If we take a look at the Steam community market we can see that there are only 360 Vertigo packages listed and about 1700 Ancient packages. While there are 16,000 Dust2 packages and 9000 Mirage packages. There is clearly a bigger demand for these two packages however in the future, Ancient and Vertigo packages could be quite rare, so you could consider buying a few more of these. Now, when is the best time to buy these packages? I would say about 2 weeks until the 20th of December, because there might be a discount for sticker capsules and that could impact the prices of the souvenir packages. Or Valve could even decide to make discount on the tokens. So don't rush to buy them now. Also, since the CSGO community likes to FOMO in on the items that were just removed from the in-game store, buying those packages about 2 weeks before the 20th of December would let you flip them on the market as soon as they are removed. And the price at that time could be doubled or even tripled. But that just maybe. If that happens, you sell them fast for profit, then wait for prices to get stable again and then rebuy the same packages if you want to. If you decide to hold them for a longer time, then keep in mind that there is a high chance that the next major will have the same collections in its souvenir packages. Thus that would probably reduce the price of the ones from this major. Finally, take a look at the community market prices before you buy those packages. Maybe you will be able to get them cheaper from there than from in-game store. All in all, Stockholm 2021 major souvenir packages should be a decent investment, but I would not go all in on them. Let me know in the comments what you think about these packages and will you be investing in them? I will see you in the next one.